A Sting from Africa, The Origin of Killer Bees. These bees have a story that is as fascinating as it is terrifying. The Africanized honeybee, nicknamed the killer bee, inspires fear worldwide. Their aggressive nature and rapid spread have made them infamous. These bees aren't a naturally occurring species. They were born from a scientific experiment gone wrong. What started as a quest to boost honey production turned into a global concern. In 1956, Brazilian scientists imported African honeybees to increase honey production. The goal was to combine the best traits of African bees with local bees. These bees were known for their resilience and productivity. They could thrive in harsh conditions and produce more honey than their European counterparts. However, some of these African bees escaped quarantine. The containment measures failed, and the bees found their way into the wild. They bred with European honeybees, creating a hybrid species, the Africanized honeybee. This new species combined traits from both parent species. This hybrid inherited a potent mix of traits, the African bee's resilience and the European bee's adaptability. This combination proved disastrous. The Africanized bees were not only more productive, but also far more aggressive. These new bees were highly aggressive and defensive. They would attack in large numbers, making them a significant threat to humans and animals alike. They quickly spread throughout South and Central America, reaching North America by the 1990s. Their ability to adapt to different environments facilitated their rapid expansion. Their rapid expansion earned them the moniker Killer Bees, striking fear into the hearts of many. Reports of attacks and fatalities spread, heightening public concern. The accidental creation and spread of the Africanized honeybee serves as a stark reminder. Even with good intentions, interfering with nature can have unintended and dangerous consequences. Scientists continue to study these bees to find ways to manage their spread and mitigate their impact. Despite their fearsome reputation, Africanized honeybees play a crucial role in pollination. Efforts are ongoing to balance their benefits with the risks they pose. Beekeepers and scientists are working together to develop strategies to coexist with these bees. Education and awareness are key to preventing unnecessary panic and ensuring safety. The story of the Africanized honeybee is a complex one, blending science, nature, and human intervention. It serves as a powerful lesson in the delicate balance of our ecosystem. Identifying the enemy, Africanized versus European honeybees. These two types of bees, while similar in appearance, have significant differences that are crucial to understand especially for beekeepers and those living in areas where both species are present. Telling an Africanized honeybee from its European cousin isn't easy. They look remarkably similar, and this similarity can often lead to confusion. However, knowing the differences can be a matter of safety. Both are about half an inch long, with golden yellow bodies striped with black. This coloration is a common trait among many honeybee species, making visual identification challenging. This visual similarity makes it difficult to identify them by sight alone. However, subtle differences exist that can help in distinguishing them if you know what to look for. Africanized honeybees are slightly smaller and darker than European honeybees. This size difference is often hard to notice without a direct comparison. But these distinctions are minuscule and require an expert eye to spot. Beekeepers often use magnification tools to observe these subtle differences. The real difference lies not in their appearance, but in their behavior. Africanized honeybees are known for their heightened aggression and rapid response to threats. Africanized honeybees are far more aggressive and react to disturbances with startling speed and intensity. This aggressive behavior is a defensive mechanism that has evolved over time. While a European honeybee might send out a few guard bees to investigate a threat, Africanized honeybees launch a full-scale assault. This can involve hundreds of bees attacking simultaneously. 
Understanding these behavioral differences is crucial for avoiding dangerous encounters. Beekeepers and individuals in areas with Africanized honeybees must take extra precautions. While both types of bees can sting, the heightened aggression of Africanized honeybees makes them considerably more dangerous. Their stings can be more frequent and intense, leading to severe reactions in some individuals. Beekeepers often use smoke to calm bees, a technique that works well with European honeybees but is less effective with Africanized honeybees due to their aggressive nature. Despite their differences, both types of bees play essential roles in pollination and the ecosystem. Understanding and respecting their behaviors can help in coexisting safely with these fascinating creatures. Whether Africanized or European, honeybees are vital to our environment. Their contributions to pollination and honey production are invaluable, making it important to learn about and protect these incredible insects. Silent Alarm – Deadly Response – Understanding Killer Bee Aggression These bees, often referred to as killer bees, have a reputation that precedes them, and for good reason. Africanized honeybees are infamous for their aggression. Unlike their European counterparts, they are far more defensive and quick to react to any perceived threat. But what makes them so quick to attack? It's a combination of their genetic makeup and their environment. The answer lies in their heightened defensive instincts. These bees have evolved to be more vigilant and protective of their hive. They perceive threats more readily than other honeybees and react with overwhelming force. This heightened sensitivity is a survival mechanism. Their alarm system is hair trigger sensitive. Even the slightest disturbance can set them off. Vibrations, loud noises, and even dark clothing can trigger a defensive response. These bees are always on high alert. Once alarmed, they release attack pheromones, signaling the entire colony to mobilize. And mobilize they do, with a ferocity that is unmatched. Hundreds, even thousands of bees can launch into the air, pursuing the perceived threat relentlessly. Their coordination and sheer numbers make them a formidable force. They chase for longer distances and sting in greater numbers than European honeybees. This relentless pursuit can last for several hundred meters. Their venom isn't any more potent than that of other honeybees. However, the volume of stings they can deliver in a short period is staggering. However, the sheer number of stings they inflict makes them incredibly dangerous. A single encounter can result in hundreds of stings, overwhelming the victim's system. Their attacks can be fatal, especially for individuals allergic to bee venom. Immediate medical attention is crucial in such cases to prevent severe reactions or death. Understanding their behavior is key to avoiding dangerous encounters. Awareness and caution can help prevent triggering their aggressive defense mechanisms. Education and respect for their space are essential. By learning more about these bees, we can coexist safely and reduce the risk of attacks. Section 4. From Jungle to Suburb. Killer Bee Habitats and Colonies. Africanized honeybees are incredibly adaptable. They thrive in various habitats from tropical rainforests to arid deserts. This adaptability contributes to their rapid spread and makes them a challenge to control. Unlike European honeybees, which prefer to build hives in enclosed spaces, Africanized honeybees are less picky. They nest in a wide range of locations, including tree hollows, abandoned tires, and even underground cavities. Their colonies can be large, often containing tens of thousands of bees. This large population, coupled with their aggressive nature, makes their nests potential hazards. Their ability to establish colonies in close proximity to human settlements further increases the risk of encounters. It's not uncommon to find their hives in backyards, parks, and other urban areas. Section 5. Venom in Flight. Threats to Humans and Animals. The danger posed by Africanized honeybees is undeniable. Their venomous stings are a threat to both humans and animals. While a single sting might not be lethal to a healthy adult, multiple stings can be deadly. Children, the elderly, 
and those with allergies are particularly vulnerable. For them, even a few stings can trigger a severe allergic reaction, leading to anaphylactic shock and potentially death. Animals are also at risk. Pets, livestock, and even wild animals can fall victim to killer bee attacks. The consequences can be devastating, ranging from painful stings to death. Their aggressive nature and tendency to attack in large numbers make encounters particularly dangerous. They can quickly overwhelm their victims, inflicting numerous stings in a short amount of time.